Hey, what's up guys? Brian Lovett, aka B Love here. You might notice I look a little bit different today. Well, we're getting ready to pack up a bunch of these uh, coronavirus masks, the COVID masks that we've been 3D printing over the last few days. And I wanted to answer some more questions that I've had from the community. A number of you have asked me a few things and it's, it's been amazing to see kind of the outreach and the outpouring of help and support that's come from this. So many of you have been willing to pitch in and ready to just help and do whatever you can to get these made and get these out to the doctors and hospitals that need them the most. Now, there's been a few kind of common questions that have come up, and so I wanna go over those. Today. Now, first, some more questions about the materials and choice of materials have come up. Now, one thing you wanna note, you don't really wanna use PLA for this. PLA has a lot of micro fissures. It's really brittle, and it's not really cut out for this job. Pet G, on the other hand, is used to make water bottles, um, things like that, and so if you print it at a decent enough temperature and you have enough perimeters, I have three to five perimeters on all of my masks, you're not gonna get as many of those micro fissures and it's gonna be a lot safer for the doctors. Now, the other question that's come up a few times is how well PETG and TPU bond together. And so I should start by saying that PLA and TPU will not bond. You're not gonna get adhesion. And so the layers are just gonna come apart. That's not what you want. With PETG and TPU, however, uh, because the temperatures are higher and the type of material they are, I mean, you can see this is, I mean, it's one solid piece. This is not going to be unbonded. And the nice thing about this, and you can kind of see this on my mask already, is that by having that pet G and TPU on here, the TPU really is what seals against your face. And so if you aren't able to print with TPU, it's okay, but uh, having that TPU layer on here just makes this more flexible. It makes it sit against your skin much better and gives you a better seal. And really what we want from these is that all of the air coming in and going out goes through the mask filter and not through the sides of the mask because it's how you end up getting you know the virus and everything else through there so really that seal across the face is the most important thing the other thing is the comfort of this sitting against your skin for a long shift some of these doctors are working 8 to 12 hours a day and so having something that's comfortable makes a big difference so that's why we go with pet g and tpu now some people of course have asked you know with the pet g and tpu does the TPU actually create more micro fissures? And honestly, the answer is I don't know. Um, but what we've done from testing is we found again, since that seal is better against your face, it seems like this is still a better alternative to just having PET G alone. All right, next big question is how do you actually assemble these? What do you use for filters, things like that? So let's dive into that. Obviously this is for illustration purposes only, but I wanna show you how you would assemble one of these. And what you would typically do at a hospital is you would have an N95 mask. We'll pretend that this paper towel is an N95 mask. And you would end up cutting six to eight squares out of that N95 mask. So the really cool thing about that is one N95 mask, instead of being single use, can be used for six to eight of these reusable face masks. So what you would do is you'd take this kind of square filter. And the reason I like this design is because it uses these small square filters. And so what you'd end up doing is just kind of you know, cutting a square out. It doesn't need to be this big, obviously. And of course, I'm doing a terrible, terrible job right now. You'll get the idea. So you'll have that, it wraps around the, the edges, and obviously you don't need it that big. It's, you know, kinda, just needs to overhang a little bit. And then what you do is from the inside, you pop this in. And it's really tight, which is obviously what you want. And now when you look at it from this side, you see you have this nice tight seal of the mask and the filter. And then you place this over it just as an extra little bit of protection. And then this obviously goes on the face like that. Now, another common question I get is what do you use for the straps? And in this case, you know, obviously elastic bands or something, rubber bands would be kind of ideal. I was kind of going through the house trying to find things that would work. And what works really well is actually TPU. So you just cut a length of TPU. And of course it's really flexible and nice. So you just tie it and tighten it up. And uh, you can get it nice and tight and get a good seal. Elastic again would probably be the best bet and not elastic that has 
uh, material over it, like felt or anything. You want kind of that bare rubber, because if it has felt or something, that's uh, not going to be able to be sterilized by the doctors. And so you really want to get something that can be sterilized. And in this case, TPU seems like a decent kind of like last ditch alternative to uh, some of the other things I've seen. But again, rubber bands seem like they would work. And the nice thing about these masks is they have, I don't know, it's probably a quarter inch or so hole opening on the sides uh, versus the, the Montana masks have a smaller round opening, which I don't think works as well. So these, you can fit a little bit wider and uh, larger bands in. Now, as far as print times go, you're going to take about eight hours to print three of these masks or two of the larger 100% scale masks. In the description, I've got links to my 3MF files. You should be able to import those into most slicing software programs and use that to generate G-code. This is used on a Prusa Mark 3S, and so if you have a Prusa Mark 3S, it's kind of drag and drop. Should be all set straight from the factory. I'm using Ziltec uh, PETG and Ziltec TPU because it's the only thing I could find. It looks like most of their stuff is sold out now, so if you have any good supplies of PETG that you can find online, uh, definitely hit it down in the comments. I've heard that Prusa has discounted their uh, orange PETG, and so that's a big help, especially if you're making like the face shields uh, rather than the masks. Now what I like to do is take the print straight from the printer, wearing my gloves, my mask, and get them vacuum sealed. If you don't have a vacuum sealer, because obviously not everybody does, then just get them straight into like a plastic Ziploc bag or something like that where they just, they won't get contaminated by outside air and get them into a box or something like that. And then coordinate with a local hospital or masks for docs, somebody like that to try and get a pickup going uh, or get these delivered. But make sure whatever you're doing, if you're printing masks or shields, that you check with the hospitals and doctors first to see what they need. You, the last thing you want to do is start printing stuff that can't be used by people. Obviously, you can use it for home use, and that's great because now there's, you know, in the United States, we're suggesting that people, when they go outside, wear a mask. So this is a great way to do that and not take an N95 mask from somebody who needs it more than us on the front lines, a hospital worker, a nurse, doctor. So let's get these vacuum sealed, packed, and ready to go. I can tell you too, just having this mask on for the past 15 minutes or 20 minutes or so, it's hot. And this is one that has a lot of breathing area, a lot of surface area. So it really kind of gives you a glimpse and insight into what our doctors and nurses on the front lines are going through and how hard their days really are. Wearing these all day must be pretty awful. And so, you know, the best thing we can do is try and make them as comfortable as possible, thus the, the TPU around the outside. All right, let's get these things delivered. Got 25 masks.